What's up, you guys? It's Key Amber Vaughn, aka Coach Key, coming back to you with another video. If you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you are not new, welcome back. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and also tap the bell so that you are notified of every new video that I post. So as you guys can tell by the title of this video, it's time to do the budget results for the week three of the April budget. Why do I feel like that was so hard to get out? I don't know. So I can tell you guys that I didn't have too, too many expenses this week. And my checking account balance at the end of all of this should be $416542. That's what I wrote down. So we are going to see. So let me go ahead and zoom you guys in a little bit. So let's first start off with the fixed expenses. I can tell you guys that my progressive, um, my car insurance did not go up. And somebody left me a comment, and thank you for this comment. They said that it'll probably go up on my renewal, which I think is in June. So I'm going to be on the lookout for some else if that's the case. So it was 120.33. And sorry, I always have my screen brightness so low because I my it really hurts my eyes. So I was under budget by $29.67. FSM was correct and that's like a monthly bill that's standard. I can tell you guys this will disappear from my personal um, budget starting next month. I have just changed all of this over to my business accounts as well now. So I will be getting rid of that bill from this particular part of my budget. So we were supposed to spend $184.95 but we were under budget $29.67 which means that the total we spent on fixed expenses was 155.28. Now, as far as the budget goes, let's go ahead and go into the expense tracker. Zoom y'all in a little bit more. Okay, so first things first, I had to get a physical for the position in uh, the new travel assignment, which I do have an update for that for you guys. I will be updating you guys in the next video, which will come out on Sunday, and that's going to be the uh, week four paycheck to paycheck budget. I'll be giving you guys an update on that. Um, but anyway, I had to get the physical. So what happened was the way that they sent it, this particular facility can only do it like an e-file as far as like filling out the paperwork for the physical. And there was nothing on my company side that allowed them to do it. Like they sent it as an e-file, but I guess it still came up as like PDF papers that you had to print out. So in order for me to not continue to waste my time sitting there waiting for them because I had already been there over an hour and a half, I just went ahead and paid for it and my company is supposed to reimburse me. They, um, it's actually going to come to me next Friday. So next Friday, um, dang, next Friday, I think starts my new budget though. Like my, my, what's, what's next month y'all? May. Next Friday starts my May budget, but I'll end up just reimbursing myself of this $70 um, when that paycheck comes through my account. So we ended at $59.06. We're going to subtract the $70. Let me get my red pen out. So that's $10.94. That's negative. And then uh, while I was in Atlanta, I did visit my friend well I stayed at my friend's house so that I wouldn't have to pay for like a hotel and everything and his family did a Easter Sunday like dinner or whatever and I wanted to contribute so I made pies I made three of them so instead of me taking that out of my grocery budget I just went ahead and put it in miscellaneous because for me miscellaneous is like going out to eat for people's birthdays birthday presents stuff like that so that's where I decided to put it so that leaves us at negative 31.15. And I don't think I have miscellaneous on this side. So I do have a little note written down here. I have to remind my dad of this. Um, and this is probably going to come up, well, it actually will come up when I try to reconcile my budget. I am down $60. My dad told me to withdraw that to give it to my cousin, who's a freshman at Morehouse. And he hasn't given me my $60 back. So uh, I will be calling my daddy as soon as I turn this recording off because he's throwing my budget off. Um, so now let's go to personal household. We ended at, oh, not 31, 61.13. And... I did take back the wax strips. I told you guys about that last week, but it ended up being in this budget. 
So that takes us up to 68.25. I did have to get gas. So this was gas coming back from my trip. 39.50. $30. I don't think I had personal household over here. Oh, I did. Okay. Sorry. Let's go back to personal household real quick. Cause y'all know I like to do a whole category before I move on to the next one. So we are here with it. So we ended at 68.25 and I had a, it actually was a $34 and 52 cent transaction, but I took back two of the products that totaled out to 24.72. So typically what I like to do is just like take it away from this one line instead of adding an extra line. The only time I add an extra line is if like last week when I refund it or take it back, it ends up in a totally different week's budget. So like this refund is from uh, somewhere up here, the, up here. So it's in two different weeks. So considering that, we're going to go ahead and take away the $9.80 that remained. And we got 58.45. Okay, so gas, we just ended at negative $30. And I did have to fill up one time while I was on the road. And I still have over a half a tank. So I think that I will be okay. But yeah, I should be okay to end out the month. So we're at negative 59.75 at this point. Now with restaurants, we ended at 57.28, I think, yeah, 57.28, and I got food a couple of times this week. I really wanted to go to the grocery store, but I do know that somebody asked me in the comments of one of my old um, grocery haul videos if I can like show how I meal plan and everything, so... I typically like to shop for an entire week and I can't do that, um, you know, like on a Wednesday. <laughs> I do it on Sundays. So because of that, I just went ahead and I ate out a couple of times. Not too, too major. But of course, because I was gone for an entire week, I didn't have any groceries left over from when I had left because I only shop on a weekly basis and I eat up everything that I buy pretty much. Okay, so the last thing was shopping. So I bought a couple of little small snacks at the gas station when I was coming back. So I consider that shopping. And that is my first shopping transaction. So it was just $4.95, which we started at a budget of one fifty four the month. So that's where we're at there. So let's go ahead and do, okay, let's figure out how much we have left over, how much we spent. We'll put it into the paycheck to paycheck budget and finish reconciling out. Okay. So for groceries, we still have 198.60. Personal household, we got 58.45. Miscellaneous, we are negative 31.15. No, I'm lying. Yes. Yes. Um, restaurants, we still have 42.64, which is good because I'm going into my last week of my budget and I have a little under half left. I told y'all I was going to make up for it. Okay, supplements, I still have 66.21. Gas, I am negative 59.75. And then shopping, 145.05. So that means that I still have 420.05 left in the budget. And typically, like with the whole $60 thing for my dad, if I was waiting for it back from another person, I would just go ahead and make a line item and then next week put the refund back in there. But I know my dad's going to give it back to me probably today. Actually, if I call him, he'll have it to me when I come back, when he gets back home. So I'm not really worried about it. Um, so four twenty oh five, and if I subtract what we had left over last week, which was six oh one seventy eight, that means that I spent... 181.73. So we're going to put that into the budget. 
181.73. Okay, so 225 is what we were supposed to spend. We spent 181.73, so we were under budget by $43.20. Seven cents and just put get sixty dollars reimbursement back from that. And I'm gonna put a box so I can check it off when he does it. Okay, so savings, I didn't send anything. And all of my business expenses came out, so we are good there. So let's go ahead and reconcile down here at the bottom. So the beginning balance was $45.62.43. There was no income. So fixed, we have $155.28. Variable, we have 181.73. And savings, we have zero. So let's see where we're at. So like I told you guys, I should be at 41.65.42. So 45.62.43. 45.62.43. Minus the 155.28 minus the 181.73. So if I subtract the $60 that I currently don't have because my dad has to give that back to me, I'm at the 41.65.42. So we are good. Everything checks out and we are wonderful. So this is where I'm at and I only have, like I said, one more week left in my budget. So I think that I will be absolutely okay. I do have to update you guys on a couple of other things, but like I said, I'm going to do that in the next video because I also have to update you guys on what my savings plan is going to end up being. So I'm actually going to end up deviating away from this plan B and there's going to be a plan C and I will explain why in the next video. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. But other than that, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.